girls like some? Listen, I am determined not to have another blue Monday. Going to work, making your way in the army is pretty much the same as in civilian life. I know. Basically, you have to know your job. You have to be willing to work, and you have to know how to get along with people. While the fundamental requirements may be the same, there are some differences. A little something extra is needed for the successful military career. One of the most important ingredients, for example, is good military manners. You know, I really like this post, but I think it's time for me to move on. I would really like a new assignment. Me too. You know, I wish I could get that special assignment in shape here for Belgium. Yeah. Belgium? Oh, man, I'm available. <laughs> Boy, I would give anything to have that goofy job in Belgium. Just anything. Unfortunately, Miss Marilyn Vernon has that whole thing sewn up. Oh, does she? Yeah, yeah Vernon. She, really does. Does. she has you a bad agree? chance. What? Is it Carol Robertson? Carol Robertson? Yes. Yeah. It's Marilyn. Carol Robertson. No, you're wrong. There's no question about it. You're wrong. Marilyn has it all sewn up. I know what you two are talking about. You both know Sue's the only one that has a chance for it. You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. I'm glad everyone knows exactly who should get my recommendation for that assignment. Because I don't. I don't, and I'm their commanding officer. It's not as if one girl stood head and shoulders above the other. They're all fine girls. And they all deserve the assignment. Now, how can anybody make a sensible decision in a situation like this? Let me see. Who most deserves the assignment? Susan? Marilyn? Carol? I guess the co-workers know more about them than anyone else. Well, thank you, Mr. Jones. Okay. So you want to know about Marilyn. We have a fine group of girls in this office, and they do a wonderful job. I suppose Marilyn has always been a favorite of mine. She does a wonderful job. And besides, she's kind of nice to have around. A wonderful girl. Okay, she's a hard worker. We're all hard workers. What has that got to do with anything? She's a terrific looking girl. That hasn't hurt her a bit, believe me. I guess Marilyn is one of the prettiest girls in my company. But I must say, she doesn't always make the most of it. She forgets herself and wears jewelry with her uniform. The extreme hairstyle she wears from time to time don't exactly go well with her whack uniform. She likes to hike up her skirt so that it becomes a mini skirt. She's a bright girl, but she's going to have to improve. We don't really frown on wearing jewelry. <laughs> or dramatic hairstyles. Or the new-looking clothes. I think the mini skirt, pantsuit, bell bottoms are great. In their place. And that's the key. Wearing what is appropriate to time and play. For example, with formal evening wear, this girl's dramatic makeup, extreme hairstyles, are fine. And her gown is beautiful. But I'm sure you'd agree that sneakers are ridiculous with this kind of costume. 
Selecting the right makeup and the right dress are more than matters of taste with us. In one important sense, they're what we mean by military manners. Marilyn would do a good job, but her personal appearance. I still have a decision to make here. Now, let me see. Carol Robertson would also be good. She's an entirely different kind of girl. Oh, yes. And I tabulated the test results here. They're all summarized at the end of the report with the conclusions that the colonel gave me. That's real fine, Spencer Robertson. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You can always depend on Carol. She really applies herself and works hard. In fact, sometimes I think she knows more about what's going on here than I do. She's a real marvel. But that's not just my opinion. Ask anyone. They'll tell you the same thing about Spetsch Robertson. Carol is the most efficient person in this office. She works hard on her own projects. And more important, she's always there to help somebody. If you look over there, you can see what I mean. Now, let me get this right, Carol. Definitions. For the purpose if I decided on her work alone, I suppose I would recommend Carol. She does a superb job. But there's more to it than that. And Carol will have to correct a few little problems if she hopes to get anywhere. Carol is neat, clean, and could be attractive. But I think she's confused about a few things. She confuses military bearing and behavior with male mannerisms. Well, they're not the same thing at all. And her walk, that really is a problem. She's forgotten that the 30-inch step is for the drill field and that every place else you walk like a girl. If she would only learn to walk properly. Now, don't misunderstand me for a moment. I have nothing against Carol. She's a fine girl, and I'm very pleased with her work. However, every time I see her, she carries herself as if she were on a parade field. I feel that our young ladies around here can walk and talk, stand and sit, like young ladies. And I see no reason for them to change just because they're in uniform. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Fine. But thank you for coming by. See what I mean? A real problem. Now, Susan Mayfield is something else again. She's not as efficient as Carol, but she is completely feminine at all times. And let me assure you, that adds to her military effectiveness. She has all the grace and charm a young girl should have. She knows how to walk, stand, and sit in a graceful, feminine manner. Battalion Headquarters, Specialist Mayfield speaking, sir. Specialist Mayfield, a new pamphlet was supposed to have come in this week. Could you come in and help me find Certainly, it? Certainly, ma'am. She also knows and practices all the rules of military courtesy that she has learned. Good morning, ma'am. Specialist Mayfield, do you have that new DA pamphlet on the correspondence course? Yes, ma'am. I filed it just this morning. I'll go and get it for you. Thank you. Holding doors open, standing while talking with an officer, are just a few examples of proper military courtesy. They serve as signs of respect, which an enlisted person shows her superiors. They also serve to show the alertness and the awareness of the individual. Those who tend to ignore proper military courtesy will also ignore courtesy in their civilian behavior. Here you are, ma'am. Thank you, Specialist Mayfield. 
Oh, excuse me, ma'am. I believe my phone is ringing. Shirley. One of the most serious problems in proper military etiquette arises in answering the telephone. Susan knows how important this is, and she knows how it should be done. Battalion Headquarters, Specialist Mayfield, sir. No, I'm sorry, sir. Captain Foster isn't in right now. Well, she is expected back at 11.30. Would you like to leave a message, sir? Well, yes, I'll see that she gets it. Major Murphy called. And would like to know... the status... of the feeder report... by 1300... Hours this afternoon. Will there be anything else, sir? Oh, yes, I'll see that she gets it. Military manners? Yes. But more than that, correct telephone technique is an indication of personal effectiveness, of knowing how to get the job done. All right, I'll read it again. I've been to the Down there, so The authentic composition of the island. Yes, I suppose self-expression is one of the big problems for many of our girls. And this goes beyond telephone answering alone. In many respects, this is as important as their appearance. The trouble here is people just don't know what they sound like. Take all day. There's all the difference in the world between that's going to take all day and I'll get it done as quickly as possible, sir. If people could hear themselves, they would realize how important the right tone of voice, the right selection of words are. Well, there you are. These are just a few of the things I have to consider before making my recommendation on which woman will go to Belgium. Many of the women put in a lot of effort and never seem to get anywhere. I think just seeing what is acceptable and what isn't may be helpful. For example, we all know that you shouldn't wear a miniskirt as part of the uniform. There's no question about that. And that you should walk in a feminine manner at all times. What we're talking about applies as much to civilian life as it does to the military. The key word in both settings are appropriateness and good taste. Now then, who do I recommend for the assignment to Belgium? As a rule, it goes to the girl who does something about her career. The girl who gives the matter a little thought, a little effort. In the final analysis, girls, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs>